Hello everyone. So today we're here at a very well-known public spot looking for quartz crystals. Now this spot's been dug for 20 or 30 years and it looks like a war zone because of that. There are holes everywhere from people looking for crystals. And we are here to do the same. So over here it's Jesse digging himself a, a hole. Oh hi everybody. Yeah. So a lot of these piles here, or uh, the ground here, is not actually hard rock. It's a lot of moved material that other people have moved from above that worked its way down. But usually you can find leftover crystals that people didn't see within the pile. And you got any hard rock in there? Or is it just loose? <laughs> this, that's where I got a bunch of loose, loose junk. Well, he's still finding stuff in there. He's got his homemade screen sifting it through. This is what he's found so far, but this is the best one right here. I'll show you that one. Yeah, he found that smoky quartz crystal. That's pretty good right there. That's a good one. <laughs> that yeah. one made it worth it. So Jesse here actually has a small YouTube channel that he's getting started. So if you want to go check it out, it's called Rock Goblin Adventures. And I'll have a link for it down in the description. So go check him out. Do it. <laughs> As you can see, there's a couple, few people here today doing the same thing we are. This is a pretty public, well-known spot. It's actually in a book, this location here. There are just dug hills and holes everywhere. And this is just the back side of this little hill here. The other side is just as bad. It's like World War II trenches. <laughs> Giant holes all over the place. Half-buried trees. It's kind of a disaster zone. So I've come up here to dig in someone else's diggings, someone else's hole. There's a lot of massive quartz, but you can see there's some crystals that want to start forming on this rock or in these, in the quartz itself. So where I've been digging is in someone else's established hole. I'm, I'm always interested in finding the hard rock itself, and here we have some hard rock with a big chunk of quartz. Now, I don't think it's quartz, uh, I don't know if it's a quartz vein, or I call them uh, quartz tubings. Uh, there's a more official geologic name, of course, but it's like a tube of quartz. I think that's what is here. Now, in this spot, it's more of this massive white milky quartz with a little bit of smoky here and there, but it's just massive quartz. There's no crystal structure hardly at all, except for every once in a while, you'll find something like this here with some little cavities. Uh, what are those called? Um, can't think of the name right now, but once in a while you'll get a little bit of crystals trying to do something, but when they're intermixed in a rock like that, it's not, not worth it to me. I'm hoping there's a crystal pocket in here somewhere. I'm gonna dig around just a little bit into this harder quartz see if anything pops out. Jesse's, uh, uh, Jesse's calling me down as soon as I get back at the top of the hill, so there must be something worth bringing me down to see. It's not bad. It's like, yeah, two smoky quartz crystals intermixed, or mm -hmm. grown together. Not bad. <laughs> oh, hey. So I dug around in there for probably way too long. <laughs> But uh, just massive quartz. So not all quartz has the crystals, it seems, up here. So the same vein or tube is found up there a little bit of just massive quartz. Not much crystal structure. There is a little bit, but not enough. So we've got some harder quartz running this way. Massive quartz. We've got some loose material. Jesse found those quartz crystals earlier down there. We have someone digging here that's got a huge tunnel underneath the path here. So, seems maybe in this zone here is where there might be a crystal pocket somewhere hidden. Maybe I'll try down there a little bit. So we've been here for several hours and Jesse's, he's got a ton of crystals that he's found in his deep hole there. I am finally deciding to dig down right there. Yeah, he's the professional. <laughs> I've been digging in there. Borrowing a sift that he made, that thing's really nice compared to my little tiny little plastic thing, but I finally found a crystal, or at least a body of one. <laughs> it's getting late. I'm gonna keep on digging in there. 
Now I'll show you my collection of crystals after I get underneath this tree because trees. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, I found another one. A little, a little, a little smoky. Nice. Yeah, not bad. And then here's all the amazing crystals I found. <laughs> it doesn't even have tips. It's just the body. <laughs> wow. And now I'm here is the hole. Carefully go in here. I don't want to get dirt all over the camera. So in here is Jesse's diggings. And in here is mine. So I'm right next to where he is, so I, you'd think I'd be getting something out of here, but apparently not. Oh, you found another one? In your pile, yes. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. So Jesse came over to help me sift <laughs> because he thinks I was missing things, and I guess he's kind of right because <laughs> I saw this, I was like, that's just trash, and I threw it out and he picked up and cleaned it, and it's actually a giant face. <laughs> the whole crystal boat would have been really nice. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Yeah, so now he thinks I'm missing stuff, and <laughs> yeah, I got a few more in there. Nice little smoky. It's starting to get dark. Don't know how much longer we're going to be able to stay here. Hole's getting pretty deep there. Eh, at least I found a few. He's got a good mount. He's down in there digging out some more piles to sift through. So I was just sifting through and uh, found my biggest crystal probably ever right here. Not bad. Let's check this one out the why it's got here. Oh shoot. Not oh bad. yeah, that's a decent one right there. Yeah. <laughs> and I haven't even looked through all of it yet, so there might be some more. Some that's more pretty nice. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Cool. So we had a little tunnel collapse uh, because, let me get in here. Oh, my hat, my fell off. So we had a little tunnel collapse, as you can see here. Wow, your tunnel's huge. Yeah. Jeez. I put some work into her. Uh, because there's another tunnel right above us. Uh, some kind of animal tunnel. It just gave out is all, so. Yeah. All right, so as you can tell, we stayed out here kind of late, uh, really late, it's dark, but uh, not bad. We had a pretty productive day here, actually. This is the best that we've done in this spot. I'll show you what we've done. Come into this hole here, carefully. <laughs> so, I've dug all this, there's that animal hole or something up there that collapsed and then here's jesse's massive tunnel <laughs> way larger than mine <laughs> a little bit a little bit he did a lot more digging here than i did today because i was messing around and kind of walking around looking for other spots and digging in that hardened quartz vein of some sorts is that a crystal there kind of ish <laughs> yeah it's a little hollow right there yeah a little dangerous what we're doing, but it is. <laughs> it's, I mean, there's bigger tunnels than this here, so <laughs> with trees over them that yeah. people somehow still dig in. Yep, so we're gonna call it a day now and get out of here. I'll clean up the quartz crystals when I get a chance to, and they'll be at the end of this video. And uh, don't forget to go check out uh, Jesse's channel over at Rock Goblin Adventures. Link in the description. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
And uh, we'll catch you all in the next video, hopefully soon. Take care.